Love and Forgiveness, Part 2 of 4, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English and Spanish on October 1st, 2006, in Malaga, Spain. Que no es mala persona, es que tiene metido en la cabeza eso, porque cuando los animalitos están malos los cuida, cuando eh, eh, los misma, los quiere, pero... Es una persona muy buena, uh, no siendo que es mala, uh, aún le gustan los animales y juega con ellos y los cuida cuando están enfermos. Muchas gracias, eh. She's saying that, that the husband likes the um, the animals and he plays with them and, and very friendly with them when they need help, but he doesn't have it there. He's still stubborn there when it comes to, to the welfare of the animals in the end. Mm. Yeah, there are people like that. Sí, hay mucha gente así. Also, maybe these animals have bad karma with him in the past life. También ten en cuenta que estos animales pueden tener um, karma con él. Y él, yo le tienen que pagar a él de ese modo. Maybe when your husband was an animal, at his animal level, they kill him. And now he can back kill them. De pronto cuando tu marido fue animal uh, en su nivel, los animales que hoy en día él mata, lo mataron a él. This is a world like that. So be lucky that you get out of this cycle. Este, este es el mundo en que vivimos. Uh, alégrate y siéntete su, con suerte que ha salido del ciclo este. It's not much we can do. It's not that we can do it all the time. No podemos hacer mucho. Um, no, no todo el tiempo, por lo menos. Sometimes we can convert people. Sometimes we cannot. And especially the one next to us are the most difficult. <laughs> Sometimes like that. Algunas veces podemos convertir la gente. Otras veces no. Y es, es, exclusivamente esos que están cerquita de nosotros son más difíciles que todos. I told you, enemies come back as lovers. Yo te lo dije, los enemigos siempre vienen como amantes. How would your enemy listen to you? ¿Cómo, cómo se cree que el enemigo te va a escuchar? He doesn't bother you, he doesn't kill you, he doesn't hit you. No te mata, no te escucha, no te causa más pena. And more, he let you come to retreat. Y más que te ha, dejado, te ha permitido venir al retiro. Mm -hmm. ah, sí. So take his good point and praise him on that. And then slowly maybe you can tell him other things. So... Um, Alégrate por los buenos puntos que él tiene y dile, uh, remárcalos uh, y explícale más cuando tengas el, 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 la oportunidad. Yes, you tell him he's a good man, good husband, very handsome still. Dile que es un marido muy yeah, bonito, que todavía le quiere. Yeah, you still love him very much. Ya me enfadé mucho y le dije, la, la próxima vida vas a ser eh, el cordero y verás lo que te va a pasar, te va a pasar lo mismo. Se reía de mí. She told him, next life you're going to be a, a sheep. You, you, you told he, him that? Yeah, she said to him, you're going to be a, a, a sheep and they're going to eat you as well. Uh -huh. So he was just laughing at her. Uh, okay. <laughs> no hay problema. At least he's not offended. Al menos se ofendió. Never mind. Let it be, okay? No. We can't have everything. No lo podemos tener todo. Hmm? Right, next one. Okay, uh, siguiente. Mm. You praise him first, okay? Let him know he's a good man, a good husband, and then he listen to other things. Adúlale, dile que eres que que él es muy buen esposo y que y que todavía le amas y habla, habla con él, explícale más. Maybe. De pronto. Hi, master. Um, I just want to thank you very much for everything you are and everything you do. And I only just got initiated three weeks ago, and I'm really, really blessed. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you about dreams. Yeah. Um, before I got initiated, I had a lot of bad dreams. Yes. Dreams in which I get killed and... Kabish, yes. I always run away. And yeah. um, they still keep coming every once in a while. Mm -hmm. But less than before? Way less than before. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's going. It's going. Okay? Just uh, because of your past life. Maybe you have been killed too often. So it's still imprint in your subconscious. But it's less than before, so that means it's going to be gone. Yeah? Be patient. Be patient. 
meditate more, go to group meditation, and uh, listen to the chanting or the teaching all the time, all day. Leave it on all day and all night, even when you sleep. Let it rerun, rerun, yeah? Okay? And it'll be gone. It's just a dream, thank God. Yeah? <laughs> But they're very real sometimes. I know, I know. Scary. I know these are real things. But instead you being killed in this life or being wounded again and again, you just had it recurrence in a dream. And this is already very good. Okay? Wake up, drink a glass of water, meditate again. Huh? Thank you. Okay. Or uh, read some of my jokes, yeah? You can read my jokes. Get a tape with the jokes. And laugh, okay? Right. Now, next. Hello, Master. Hello. Uh, thank you again uh, for everything. Um, I have an experience that I want to ask if I could share with you. It was when I first got initiated, like the first couple of months after I got initiated. What did you get when you first initiated? No, basically I was, um, I had an experience. I was uh, sleeping and then um, God woke me up <laughs> and He said, um, I was completely, mm, I have no emotional attachment to the issue of Israel and Palestine but he woke me up and I was sleeping and he said you want to know the answer to Israel mm -hmm. issue and Palestine I was like curious intellectually like you know I love to, I would love to know but before even I say that then the sound came but it was very nice really really nice and then he told me well if any of the two Just could get this feeling, everything is resolved. What? If any? If if either the Palestine or Israel can have this, the Palestine will say, take the country, take everything. The if, sound, if, you yeah, mean the sound. It, if they could feel that. Yeah. Yes, I know. And it was similar to to the experience when sometimes you come to my dreams. You're really strong. Don't tell me ever that you weak and you feel not strong. You are too strong too tough. Who can survive like this? Hmm? Who can survive the way you're doing? The angel cannot do it. If the angel come here, they die. Hmm? Many of the gods, they don't want to come here because it's, it's so filthy, so oppressive, you know, and so horrible. It's beyond imagination that anybody could survive on this planet for me. Wow! And you are already lucky. You are already in Europe. You can find job even. <laughs> so hard as this is, you can find it. <laughs> And so so difficult to get money, you still can get it. Huh? But if you uh, high-rise uh, rent, but you still can manage. At least you can do something. In other countries, you can't even find job. Even you want to find job, you can't. And they have to leave, or even they, they have to leave In some place like India, they live on the, the pavement of the street and they do some handwork there, yeah, and sleep there. Just a piece of plastic on top of their head. And they do some handicraft, yeah, weaving something and sell it to the tourists who pass by. Sleep there, eat there, cook there, live there, have children there too. And that's not the only country. And it's already, he considered him lucky already. And many other countries don't even have that opportunity, yeah, to live on the pavement peacefully because you can't just live anywhere like that. In other countries, the police will come and how you out, you know, right? So it's, he already considered himself lucky, if you ask him, yeah? Then, uh, then the, so many people who live far away, you know, in some bigger continent, uh, less... Uh, frequent by the development of the world, you know, maybe somewhere in Africa, jungle, tribal in Vietnam, or some remote uh, area of China, something like that. People are very desperate for work. They can't even work, you understand? So I don't know where the suffering ends and where the happiness begins. I mean, physically, mentally, emotionally speaking, it's totally out of my mind how we live in this world, totally out of imagination. But we live. And we're the luckiest one, you know? 
have meditation to calm us and have some master power to rely on, to pray on. Even things doesn't come uh, so quickly, but we know it will be better. We know in our deepest heart. Sometimes the mind thinks, no, but we know. We know it's going to be better all the time. So we feel this kind of uh, secure feeling. We feel loved. We feel protected. Yeah, We feel lucky. How many more out there? Worse than this. I don't know how people live. Sometimes I said, think of the human fate, and I just cry and cry. I don't know how they live. You know, and I can't help everybody. And the animals also, you know what I mean? It's just too much. So you know why most masters, they don't see the world anymore. I can't. You know, I, it comes to the point, I can't see, I can't look at television anymore. It's too much suffering in there, you know? Too much suffering. Even if I don't suffer like them, physical, my heart is just like, oh, so much pain. Oh, okay, try to bear it, brother, huh? Yeah? It's result in this kind of social environment that we live in, you know? Sometimes too much, maybe the neighbor have pain even. It affects you also, yeah? It's not because it affects your progress, just you have empathy with every being on this planet now. You are connected with all now, so you enjoy your bliss, but at the same time you also uh, have connection with their suffering. Yeah? And therefore sometimes you feel uneasy. It's not only be your, because of your karma, but for your neighbors, yeah? Neighbors, your friends, everyone. Because we feel love for all of them, that's why we're connected. Yeah? Okay? Whatever it is, bear it. That's all I say. Just one word, bear it. <laughs> and go on, continue. Oh, yeah, I also suffer, hey? Eh? Physical, emotional also. I don't always meditate that well the way you think. Yeah? Because of so much suffering in the world, it, it, it disturbs even my meditation. So I can imagine you also have to struggle a lot. Eh? But we struggle together, eh? Okay, we are a big group. We just hold hands together spiritually, and so we can overcome everything. Yeah, because we're together, united. See, we have a strong force. You're not alone. See, you're not alone. Yeah. All right. Um, it, it's amazing that just now, brother and sister was talking about you know stuff from Israel because now in Israel it's the holiday of uh, everyone asking for forgiveness from God and from human you know, friends and family, and everyone are fasting, not drinking, not yeah. eating. And it's similar to Ramadan in, in yeah, Muslim. Yeah, but it's just, yes. it just now happening yeah. in Israel, so I really hope for for them that you know, that they will be pure and open, you know, in this golden age, I yes. mean, compared to... Yes, they'll get and better. They, that they will Everyone get, will get better. Yeah, that they will get better. <laughs> You see, the uh, Palestine, they already make up with each other internally. The two parties already shook hands and formed a unity government, you see? So, and then they recognize Israel already as a nation. And then now the Israel, they're fasting and repenting and asking forgiveness, so maybe they look more inward and thinking, you know, on both sides, yeah? And so both will be more compromising, more tolerant of each other, and this get better, yeah? And during the Ramadan, the Muslim or Palestine, for this reason, will also reflect within themselves, and they will think, oh, forgiveness, togetherness is the best solution, is better than war, yeah? After all, we have to live with our neighbors. There's no need killing each other, and you have no neighbors left, huh? Suppose even, even if the Palestine will be able to destroy the whole Israel and all the Israelis dead. What will they gain from it? Will they ever be able to live with their heart? So during this Ramadan season, people will reflect on that. And the Israel will also reflect in this season so that they will both come into a better conclusion. Even if you kill all your neighbor, how you live with yourself, they will know that. They would definitely have time to think about that. So, so Ramadan and this, I, I know the, the word, I forgot. Anybody know the word of that Jewish festival? Huh? 
in Hebrew it's Kippur. Kippur, Kippur. and it's um, Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. Yeah, Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. So during Yom Kippur and uh, Ramadan, the two will have more time to reflect and more compassion, more tolerance, more understanding of each other's needs as human beings. There will be no Palestine, there will be no Israelis. That would be better. Hmm? That would be better like that. Look at us. We are all kind of... Uh, we are the oddest hurt i ever seen. <laughs> the, the most united nation i ever seen. Yeah? I don't even know many of the country that <laughs> you came from. <laughs> I mean, the, the names, you know, sometimes difficult to spell even. And you came from all walk of life, all kind of jobs, all kind of country. And look at how we live together. Huh? We don't even know each other before sometimes, yeah? First time come to see each other, everybody happy to be together. Isn't that nice? Yes. Isn't that good? Yes, it's, it's better like that. So this, this is the example that we make for the world. You see, do not think that you just come here because of retreat or you see me only. There's a more meaningful purpose. See, we make an example of peace and harmonies between different races, between different nations. You black, white, yellow, red, mm, purple, <laughs> half black, half white, <laughs> stripe, <laughs> black, white, black, white, the mix, <laughs> the mix uh, sibling of black and white. Yeah, and you're from Greek, you're from Holland, Finland, oh, I don't care where you are. Yeah, sometimes I ask you where you're from, sometimes I don't ask, what for? Uh, we all, you know, same, yeah? And we're happy together like this. Why couldn't the world live like this? Huh? It's so easy. It's so easy, yeah? I don't know what's the difference. Why can't they live like this? Yeah? Why can't they just live together in harmony? The world is very big. Huh? The club is still have a lot of room. The Palestine has enough room, the Israel has enough room, doesn't matter, you call yourself Israelis or Palestine anymore. Just live and let's live. Let's help each other and be happy with each other that we're still alive, that we have a beautiful planet, that we have food, we have neighbors, we have friends, we have relatives. I don't know why they cause war. Hmm? Let's just take care of their family and then take care of the nation. That's enough. Yeah? What for you need one piece of land bigger than yours, if you don't need it? Suppose uh, if uh, the Palestine uh, don't have enough room, yeah? Then maybe you can ask the <laughs> Israel, can we come <laughs> over the fence, yeah? Or the Israel ask the Palestine, you have a big land over there, can we come over the fence, you know? And we buy it, something like that. It will be better. Yeah, it will be better. And it's good that people have Ramadan and uh, Yom Kippur, yes, so that they have a little bit more time to reflect of their own thinking and their own situation. And I'm sure they will come to a better solution. It's already better, you see? The Palestine are already okay with each other and already recognize Israel, see? So very positive. And it's coming better and better all the time must be better. Yeah? It must be better. Will it be better, right? Yes. Yes, yes of course. <laughs> if the Palestine and the Israel come and ask my advice about their situation, what to do, I say, come and drink tea with me, both of you. <laughs> have some cakes, yeah? Have some, have some Chinese fried noodles, yeah? Have some fried rice. Have some of our vegetarian, vegetable and food. We just fit you. I don't want to answer anything. I just want to fit you and love you, fit you and love you. Whatever you need is right here. There's no need, yeah? There's no need. You know, I live in a place and the neighbors sometimes want to make the fence more, more than their land. I say, okay, no problem. If you need more, take more. <laughs> Actually, nothing belongs to us, yeah? We didn't come here with a piece of Israel land. <laughs> 
And we didn't come here with a piece of Palestine country, right? We came with nothing, and we will go with nothing. So it doesn't matter, huh? I don't, I don't know why the world still have frontier. Yeah, I don't know why. You know, just let everybody wonder where their destiny takes them, and where they would like to be. As long as they do no harm, then it's okay. Yeah. If they want to find work, and you have work, you give it to them. If you don't have work, they go find it elsewhere. As long as they don't do any harm, I don't see why. What's the point of 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 having frontier? I uh, see on television that uh, we have yet EU, you know, European Union. Yeah, and ever since then, the the population within EU Union don't even move out of their frontier. They have the freedom to move, but they move very little. It's on TV, yeah. And the European Union governments within different nations try to encourage and tell the people again and again, "You're free to go, free, go, 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 go to some other 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 country and settle down there and do some job over there." Nobody moved that much. So what's the point of having, you know, the frontier? After this experience, other nations should understand. Just abolish the border. God takes care. How much can people eat? And if they come, they don't have any job, and then they slowly realize, and then they go. Yeah. Or we will change the country. <laughs> England go to France. France go to Netherlands. Netherlands go to Finland. Finland go to Sweden. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, I change my houses many times because different region. We change the nation sometimes. Why not? Huh? How about the Palestine go to the Israel to live, and the Israelis all move into Palestine like this? They both have what they want. <laughs> no? Yeah. The main point is they are better now. Yeah, they will live with each other more peacefully. And that's the only way to live in the world. You kill them later, they kill you. So what's the use of that? Huh? You can't get away with that. Yeah. If they don't kill you later, your, their, par their, their parent cannot kill. Then the, the son, the daughter later will revenge. Next life, blah blah blah. So it's good that they make peace. Yeah. Okay. And erase their karma. <laughs> <laughs>